So just a few words then about this, the real Erdheim chester disease, not the one in-house, um, is that it, it is an interesting condition because it is exactly the same cell as juvenile xanthogranuloma. If you look at the pathology, you could say this is juvenile xanthogranuloma. It has the same characteristics. It's, uh, you know, so it, 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 some people have even called it xanthogranuloma of the lung or of the, the, but it's a very different disease. And this is a disease that tends to occur in the older adult and as we mentioned, is mainly systemic. So this is not a skin condition clearly has a much worse prognosis and very little tendency to this one to spontaneously disappear. And I'll just show you some interesting x-rays. This is a very classic appearance of erdheim chester disease. And there has been one case, by the way, reported in a child. And this is this um, what's called bilateral, meaning both, uh, both legs or, or any of the long bones. So it affects both sides. Symmetrical, meaning they look the same. Sclerosis which is like thickening of the bone. And you can see this here on the x-ray, this marked thickening of the long bones. And again on the bone scan, this prolonged uptake of bone scan dye. And you can see it again here. And with this, you just see this very marked uptake, but very symmetrical uptake. And that is a very classic picture for erdheim chester disease. But it is not an acute thing that is going to kill you in 12 hours, believe me. Um, it's, it's, as I said, it is, it is a bilateral symmetrical sclerosis, and this issue, this is the problem here. It's not the bone so much, although indeed bone pain is a major problem in these patients, but this is, it causes the scarring of the lungs, uh, just as it does this thickening of the bone. You get the same sort of fibrous tissue, the scar tissue occurring in lungs um, and at the back of the abdomen, catching, for example, the kidneys, catching the outflow tract of the kidneys. And many of the patients that die, and unfortunately there is a high mortality from this condition, die from kidney failure or lung failure. Um, but it can also even involve the brain and this is a picture of the lung showing this, you know, scarring along, you know, the sort of um, between the lobes of the lung. Another, I have seen this though in LCH as well, to be honest, but um, very classic sort of picture with the scarring of the lung. And then this is the brain. And again, you see these big things along the outside of the brain, not the inside, but along the, from the coverings of the brain, what we call dural-based lesions. And again, fairly classic. And this is just the symptoms. And just to show you, the, you can get, this is obviously an elderly adult, and you see these little fatty deposits called xanthometa that occur around the eye. I mean, this is, though, to show you actually a response to interferon, but I just want you to see the length of therapy here that, that you have to do to get this sort of response. Um, but he, had, he did respond, and, and he did get better. And this, the therapy is very difficult. I mean, you try many different things. The chemo response is generally fairly poor, although there have been individual case reports of response to different drugs. But perhaps what the most consistent is the response to interferon. And, and as I've heard some of the stories this morning, that's one of the things I've wondered about, whether that shouldn't be tried in a couple of patients that we heard about you know, this morning, is maybe interferon might be something worth trying. Um, and a couple of case, case reports of this combination and then other combinations. So I think the same thing holds through to and that is, so it's, it's the same path pathology as JXG, but very different response and survival. Most Erdheim Chester do not get better and do require therapy, but the responses can be poor. And then again, the same trial and error until you find what works. And I think maybe with the interferon now being described um, really as working over the last few years, I think things may get better. But this is not a particularly good disease um, f to, to have in, a, in an adult.